massive new project is underway to restore coastal wetlands in the North County. But it's not just restoring them to their past state. 10 News reporter Matt Boone explains how California is now planning ahead for rising sea levels. If I were president, I'd make sure we definitely had more places like this. I think they restore your soul. The trails of the San Alijo Lagoon have become a daily ritual for Ray Klein and his sister. The doctor said she should walk five miles a day, so we try to do that just for our general health. Yeah. It's a place of natural beauty. It's a beautiful Phoebe. But also a warning of human development. Don't just try to dominate the environment. Try to live in harmony with the environment. That's finally what's happening at this lagoon. So here we go, we're gonna pick them up. There were no golden shovels at this yeah. groundbreaking. Instead, local leaders planted native brush. Okay. So in the long run, it's just, it's gonna mean a healthier habitat. Doug Gibson runs the San Alijo Lagoon Conservancy, now leading this $102 million project. This is really a look forwards. We're enhancing this system for future conditions that, that haven't really happened yet. Conditions like global warming and sea level rise. So what would a rising tide do? Well, it could change the entire ecosystem of this area. So to prevent that, the plan actually includes raising some of the existing wetlands here to maintain the existing habitat. So that as sea level rises, the wetland plants have space to migrate. That's Megan Cooper with the California Conservancy. Places like San Alejo Lagoon are some, some of the last natural places that we still have in this urban Southern California environment. A delicate balance between the two, with nature finally getting a big boost. Reporting in Cardiff, Matt Boone, 10 News. The project also includes widening the bridge under the five and dredging the lagoon. It's expected to be completed by 2021.